The molecules in a substance are in constant motion. We can think of the molecules as balls of matter. These will be always moving. For example, by vibrating back and forth. The way the molecules move will depend on the intermolecular bonds, which are holding the molecules together. We can usually think of these like springs, which can be pushed and pulled. Though the molecules move, the springs or bonds keep them in their formation. We'll look at these bonds more closely elsewhere, but for now, you should know that the fact we have motion means the molecules are carrying kinetic energy. Remember that kinetic energy is a type of energy held by moving objects. So since the molecules are always in motion, they must have kinetic energy. But what's the relation between this kinetic energy and the state of matter of a substance? Well, let's see by going through each state and looking at how the molecules move. First, in a solid state, the molecules can only vibrate around fixed positions. Remember that in a solid structure, the molecules are in a strong, rigid structure due to very strong intermolecular bonds. This means the molecules are only able to move slightly back and forth. In other words, they only vibrate in place, which is the only motion they have. They can't move around or flow. So since the molecules don't move much, they only have a small amount of kinetic energy. Then in a liquid state, the molecules can move and flow around each other. Remember in this state, the bonds are weaker, meaning the molecules can now flow around each other. In other words, they move while staying in contact. However, since the molecules can't separate completely, their movement is still restricted and they can't move freely. This means they have a moderate amount of kinetic energy. More than solids, but this energy is still limited. And finally, in a gas state, the molecules move freely with random motion. Remember, this is when the intermolecular bonds are broken, allowing the molecules to separate and travel around a container. This means they move freely with random motion and nothing to restrict them. The molecules will also be traveling very fast in this state. So this means the molecules have a large amount of kinetic energy, much more than a solid or a liquid because of how unrestricted and quick this motion is. For your exams, you'll need to be able to describe the differences in kinetic energy between the states of matter and be able to explain why we have these differences. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.